It was Aaron who came up with the title. Uh, we were thinking of calling it Conversations in Music. Uh, we, we didn't want to have anything that suggested, suggested a lecture, because it's not that. Um, it's going to be entertaining. I mean, it's, I'm an old circus clown. I believe in entertaining the audience. And um, he said, Is, can we say something about how we listen? And I said, yeah, how about how do we listen? <laughs> I think that the title, How We Listen, How Do We Listen, is perfect for this because whether you know it or not, when you listen to a piece of music, you're listening to or for melody, rhythm, and harmony. Which one appears to you first? That may differ with who you are and with the piece of music. What are these three things? How do they operate together? Is it possible to separate them? How, what happens when you do? I first met Aaron Deal. I actually didn't meet Aaron. I first heard Aaron Deal. I don't know. I, he couldn't have been much more than 20. But this was at um, the 90th birthday concert for the jazz pianist Marion McPartland. It was in New York. And I was like, who is this kid? I mean, he was really... A special, you could tell he was special. And then uh, a couple of years later, I guess, what, I, I heard him as the accompanist for Cecile McLaurin Salvant, who in her turn is an artist with whom Washington Performing Arts has been building a very effective relationship. Aaron, in the meantime, has been uh, building a very solid jazz career of his own as a soloist and, and leader of a trio. He also uh, in the 2016-17 season, opened the New York Philharmonic's season with a gala concert in which he performed the Gershwin Concerto in F. So this is a guy who's a great pianist. I mean, he's got great chops. He's got classical chops. He's got jazz chops. He also was in some tribute for Philip Glass. Philip Glass asked him to play, I think, a couple of his piano rhapsodies. But I mean, and... Aaron and I are both from Ohio. He's from Columbus. I'm from Dayton. Uh, and we really hit it off. And we met in New York. And at some point uh, in, oh, about two, three years ago, I guess it was 2015, I said to uh, uh, Jenny Billfield, you know, Aaron and I want to do something. We want to do a concert together. We want to talk about music, have him play. So she said, well, one concert's no good. You can do a series. Can you do three? And I immediately said, melody, harmony, rhythm. I said, he, she said, oh, that'd be wonderful. Aaron was down here playing a gig and I went to see him and I said, melody, harmony, rhythm. He said, that's so amazing. I have been thinking so much about melody, harmony, rhythm. Whether you are 18 years old and listening on earbuds all the time, specifically because you don't want your parents to hear what you're listening to, or whether you keep the hi-fi on all the time and you're playing nothing but Mozart, um, whatever your listening patterns, whatever your tastes, you're always listening for harmony, melody, and rhythm, not necessarily in that order. And so it's our hope that these concerts will be attractive to everybody, you know, that everybody will find something of value in them and take away something of value from them. <laughs>